Good afternoon from London, Tuesday 5th of March. Just going to have a quick look over at some of the markets, how we're, we're trading and potential areas to, to be aware of. Just having a look at the, the S&P 500 futures, which you can see on my, my screen now, really from uh, the afternoon uh, UK time yesterday, that's where we got that big push down. We had a bit of a retracement and we're coming to an interesting area, not just in the S&P here, but also uh, the NASDAQ and other equity markets uh, across the globe and, and just having a look at a couple of the key levels here the pivot important potential trend line that might be the, the sort of the last area of support before you get a, a drift down back to the session lows uh, to the upside we almost reached 2800 uh, on on the futures here you can see just coming up short was also a decent support turn resistance level from the first of the month uh, so little mini range just uh, starting to appear uh, here in the S&P, a breakthrough that to the upside, I'll be looking at 28.10 and uh, the the low before we did break down yesterday afternoon. However, just having a look at a similar uh, trend line in the NASDAQ, you can see we have broken through. So you've got your, your free tests before that break. Just the area to, to be aware of here is, is that pivot for the NASDAQ and if that was to go, I would expect that the S&P would break. Uh, it's its trend line and it's going back to it the pivot uh, as well so both coming to the pivot both important uh, from that point of view and the DAX um, has come down to that trend line and broken through so sort of leading the way so I'll be keeping an eye to see how that progresses through the afternoon uh, I, I like the opportunity of, of a break of that, that pivot to look to get short targeting the lows of the day or should we hold here a break above 2800 looking to get back to uh, really look at a full retracement of, of the moves that we saw. If this was to happen, if equities were to push lower, the dollar yen, a break of this trend line you know, would be quite a, a decent opportunity as we go back to, to sort of risk off in the market. However, with this market, uh, dollar yen really pushing to multi month highs, a break of yesterday's high to target the, the higher the month around here is not a bad opportunity uh, as well. Looking for some dollar strength in the market to, to potentially ignite this Aussie dollar, a break of this trend line to target the, the lows could be a decent opportunity as well. Whether it would go as quickly as planned, not too sure considering the time, but a break, retest and really looking for this market to then eventually drift down to the lows of the day. Similar, but this is on a longer time period than New Zealand dollar. You can see just testing now this multi-month uh, trend line from the beginning of the year from January, February, March now being tested. So looking for this, maybe more medium term, but break of that and I look for the continuation lower. Uh, but definitely worth keeping an eye on, on equities here. Uh, the DAX just having a little little rest in the NASDAQ and the S&P on those pivot points, very important. And now you've got that third test uh, for the S&P, be important to see how we hold, uh, if at all. Oil. Um, to the downside for any of those interested you're probably going to want to see this trend line break uh, and to the upside $57 in the R1 obviously quite important uh, any any questions obviously please do let me know uh, but I hope you have a good rest of the trading day